Hey there, baseball fans. It's Ben, and I am back. And today is Don Russ Day! And we've got 1988 Don Russ, 1990, and a few 91s to open up and see what we get. I'm expecting amazing things from this 88 Don Russ because it has such amazing things to, in store. <laughs> I just love looking at this. Oh, I wonder what happened to Ozzie Guillen, you know? Anyway. I always like to pull aside somebody and we look him up and say, whatever happened to that guy? There's Jack Morris with his Hall of Fame caliber mustache, but also Hall of Fame caliber numbers. So we'll put him aside. Ozzy Gein had himself a solid career, if I recall, in terms of, um, you know, an all-star numerous times, but we're really interested to hear kind of what his whole career, how it played out and what happened next. Look at that, Kurt Wilkerson putting out a nice bunt out there. I feel like I don't see just I don't see bunts enough in the game these days. I don't know if that's just because everybody's hitting the ball so far now, or it's more strategic in different ways. But not enough bunts. These packs are all opening really easily, which either means that uh, the glue is not stick, or these might have been opened in search in the past. But I'm not going to jump to conclusions. Look, this is all messed up in the corner here too, so not treated with the best care, I think. Uh, not too worried because I don't think we're going to get something that's uh, one of a kind of irreplaceable in this set. There's Dale Murphy, who is the guy who was on the box for that year. Yep, yeah, sorry. Nothing amazing. On to 1990. This is my last. Actually, this is my. these are my last Donruss packs that I have in my possession at the moment. So it might be a little while before I get to open up some more Donruss. And I can see, see that we already have a Cal Ripken Jr. on the back here. Let's see if we can get all that paper off. That's great. There's Greg Maddox. I almost thought it was Mike Maddox for a second. We'll put Greg aside. There's Robin Young. Put him aside too. Tony Gwynn. Hey, I gotta say, this is a pretty darn good pack here. Jim Abbott. Always intriguing as a... Pete O'Brien Diamond King. I have to pause here because I don't know who this is. First baseman... Finest first baseman in the American League, Indian David Byron from Texas, blah, blah, blah. Quality power hitter. 89, he hit 260 with 24 doubles, 12 home runs, and 55 RBIs, and 83 walks. I gotta be honest with you, Don Russ. Those are not like all star caliber numbers, so I'm not sure why that's called out and why he's a Diamond King. But Pete O'Brien, more power to you, my friend. Paul Molitor and Cal Ripken. Honestly, that was a phenomenal pack. Let's just pause here, take stock about what we have going on here. One pack and we had five top-notch Hall of Famers come out of there. So great, great work on that one. I mean, anybody's gonna be excited about that. All right, series one from 1991, the first time Don Russ broke into two different series. These are the blue cards in the yellow pack. Start off with a Ray Langford rated rookie. There's Randy Johnson with that high leg kick in his 6'10 frame. He's a huge guy, I'm sure it was just terrifying to stand in the box when he was on the mound. But there's a Bo Jackson, four consecutive home runs highlight. Kurt Stillwell, Matt Williams, Diamond Kings. Yeah, all right, all right. Now let's see what the Green Series has in store for us, 1991. Series two, the Green Packs. Start off with Ryan Sandberg, one of my favorites. This one will go into my personal collection. Makes me very happy. I love getting those cards. Brandy Anderson with all the bats. All the bats. Jose Rio from the World Series. Ricky Henderson with his shot clearly on his butt. That's awesome. I'm sure he was very flattered by that. Billy Hatcher also in the World Series. There you go. And our last Don Russ pack of the day sure it's going to be something amazing. I just know it. And this is the Roberto Clemente puzzle of the year, I think. I can notice that hand anywhere. Joe Carter, MVP. Rafael Palmeira, MVP. George Bell, Mo Vaughn. If you're a Mo Vaughn fan, there's a rated rookie for you. That's a nice one. I'm not, so there you go. And Chris Sabo, who we learned a little bit about in one of our previous sessions. So, Let's find out. Ozzie Guillen, what's up? Oswaldo Jose Guillen. 
11150 that's pretty tiny uh, so let's look up Ozzy Guillen here there he is I think he would end up being a coach let's see oh from Venezuela I had no idea um, 85 to 2000 what a nice long career was the American League Rookie of the Year gold glove and the best defensive shortstops of his era he managed the White Sox from 2004 to 2011. I knew he had some managerial things in there and won the World Series in 2005 and then went to the Marlins in 2012. So, again, a baseball lifer there. Lifetime career average, 264, 28 home runs, 619 RBIs. So not stellar at the plate, but he was a defensive uh, superstar there. And pretty darn good coach, it looks like. So, uh, three-time All-Star. Two-time World Series champ, AL Rookie of the Year, Gold Glove winner, AL Manager of the Year in 2005. Respected for his passion, speed, hustle, intensity, and defensive abilities. All right. Let's skip his playing career and uh, skip his managerial career. Oh, he does a broadcaster, too. Joined ESPN Sports, uh, Spanish-speaking speak, ESPN Sports 2013. Oh, he's got a controversy section. That's never a good sign, Ozzy. Uh, three kids, two younger brothers were, yeah, turned 42, his wife and son became naturalized U.S. citizens, okay, okay, controversies, oh no, being somewhat eccentric and outspoken, sometimes lands him in the middle of controversy, he declined to join the traditional visit to the White House after the 2005 Red Sox, uh, White Sox World Series win, which Honestly, isn't that controversial anymore. I look at the way politics has seeped into things, into sports. Well, that's no good. Using a, a, a bad slur for a columnist. Hmm. Spoke against Arizona's new law to deal with illegal immigration. Okay, so he's jumping into politics and things a little bit. And suspended for five games by the Marlins due to comments about former Cuban President Fidel Castro. I love Fidel Castro. <laughs> but that mo... A lot of people have tried to kill Fidel Castro for the last 53 years, but that mofo is still here. <laughs> I would say that is eccentric and outspoken um, that people might not agree with, but you know, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. So there you go. So at least the controversies have been just with him opening his mouth a bit letting it run and not something that's uh you know potentially worse so anyway ozzy Gian, now you know a little bit more and here he is in 1987 at his skinniest and best so there you go ozzy Gian. we'll see you next time everybody